welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to check out my social media channels. In today's video, I am excited to say we will be taking a look at the TeamSpeak Beta. This is the new TeamSpeak that has just been released into Beta and this is what the welcome screen looks like. They have said there are lots of new features in this TeamSpeak and I really can't wait to take a look at these new features with you all. They have said you can now create a free TeamSpeak server. They also say you can transfer files and have unlimited chats open and create threads. There's also a new UI which we can see on this welcome screen it's all very different and you can also customize the UI anyway I'm going to go ahead and press get started I now need to type in a email address and a password which I'm going to go ahead and do now and as you can see this will keep your server bookmarks in sync across all your devices and also chat securely with your contacts across any TeamSpeak server I'm now going to go ahead and sign in I have now pressed sign in and I now get to choose a theme. As you can see, I have two options. I have the dark theme or the light theme. I'm just going to leave it on the dark theme for now because I do prefer dark themes. I'm now going to go ahead and press continue and setup has finished. We can now go ahead and launch TeamSpeak. And this is what TeamSpeak currently looks like in beta. As you can see up in the top left hand corner here, we have a TeamSpeak icon, we have a little notifications bell. We can also search, this is the little search area that I believe you can search for anything within TeamSpeak. They are saying that you can search for friends, servers and also launch games. This is called the smart search. I'm now going to go ahead and click on the settings cog. And straight away on the left hand side you can see there's lots of different settings. We have account, appearance, behavior, audio, key bindings, notifications, identities, privacy and about. On the right hand side here you can see we have my username at the top. And then we also have about our account below which I have blurred out. And then we have badges and also at the bottom which is very exciting we have your server which says you can create your own TeamSpeak server to talk with your friends, work in a team or build a community. I'm going to go ahead and select create new server and straight away we have starter. We can have 10 slots I believe that means there and it says free. We can choose TeamSpeak or self-hosted. Let's just click on self-hosted and see what it says. You can run a TeamSpeak server on your own hardware at no cost for up to 32 users which is fantastic and I will do another tutorial on how to host your own server on your PC. Let's go ahead and press TeamSpeak again and scroll down a little bit. We have the server name there. Let's just call this computer sluggish and I won't put in a password. This feature is not yet stable. Your server may be restarted or wiped at any time. That's fine. Let's go ahead and press create. And this is what my server currently looks like. As you can see, we have our default channel, which I am currently in. And it does say I am the server owner. On the right hand side, we have a little bit of information about our server. As you can see, there's only one user and one channel at the moment, which is correct. Up the top here, we have edit server settings. Let's just click on that and see our options. That just simply allows us to change the name of the server. And if we click on advanced, there's a few more different options there, which is great. If we now press the discard changes, on the left hand side here we have our servers. As you can see I currently only have the one server which is my computer sluggish one. If we go back onto the settings cog now and go down to appearance, I'm going to change this to the light thing and see what it looks like. I do actually prefer the dark theme, I feel it looks a lot better. If we scroll down a little bit here, we have tree style, we have detailed or compact, that's pretty cool as well. And we have chats, use compact 
chat. We can either turn that on or off. We have behavior, lots of different settings in there. And we have our audio, which we can change settings for, like push to talk, if you want to use a special key on your keyboard to talk. Scroll down a little more, we have a few more different options for audio. We have our key bindings there, notifications, lots of different settings again, which is good. They have given us a lot of customization, which is what I like to see. And I must admit, so far looking at TeamSpeak, I really do like the way it looks and feels. They are definitely heading the right direction because the older TeamSpeak 3 did feel very old school. And also, in this TeamSpeak, they have brung back Overwolf, which means you can have the in-game overlay as well when playing your games, which means you can see who is talking to you, as it can sometimes get a little bit confusing if there's lots of people in the server. And that is pretty much it for the new TeamSpeak beta. I hope you did like this video. If you did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials. Don't forget to check out my social channels.